What is up guys, it's Mecha giving you another deck for Link Evolution. Today guys, we're doing a rank 10 train deck, or just trains in general. I, I don't think I've made a single um, machine deck that doesn't have the ability to OTK. We did Ancient Gear that was able to OTK, Cyber Dragons can, and trains are just no exception. OTK trains is absolutely insane. Like, there's a saying with this deck, it's you either win or lose. It's literally as that simple, it's either you OTK or you lose. It's simple as that really, and I just completely agree. It is... It's insane how many plays this thing can do, like this deck can do to OTK. It is majority going second, so whatever you do, try and go second if you win the die roll. If you happen to go first, I do have one or two replays where you can see going going first, and it is okay. It's not the best, but it's but it's better going go second. Um, I find find with trains. And I say, guys, this is the list we've got for deck requests. I am saying this right here and now. I'm accepting no more videos until I've got through majority of these. Or no more deck requests, sorry. Because we're only on number four. We have overall 21 deck requests that's been. It's just getting too much too quick. I'm sorry, I'm one person on my own. I can't make that many decks that quick. So just for a couple of videos, I'm going to stop deck requests. And once I've caught up, then we'll I'll show requests some more. And if you're struggling to make this deck or any deck shown so far, check out the card hub, guys. Now, if it'll tell you what card is in this game or not, it'll tell you where to find it. So, it's a campaign, challenge mode, or card pack that does include the new cards added via the update. Um, that is in the description down below, along with my Twitch, where I do try and stream um, on days that I can when I've not got stuff on. And on my days off, I will be trying to do some form of like speed um, speed runs of some of the campaigns. Um, also, in my um, also in the description is my Discord, where if you want to join, more than welcome to, and I will try and um, answer questions if you have any of them. And with that, guys, let's get into the video. Like I said, guys, earlier, this build is more for going second. Um, by all means, you can change some of the cards around. As, as, as always, every deck is not made in stone. I just prefer like this kind of build just because it's more OTK going for it. But if you want to go first, put some going first cards in by all means. So starting us off, it's Ash Blossom, a Joy Springs. Fantastic hand trap. Should your, um, should your um, opponent special summon a card from the deck, send a card from the deck to the grave, or add a card from the deck to the grave, Ash Blossom just shuts it down. Absolute fantastic, and it can interrupt your opponent's plays. We are running one copy of Cyber Dragon. I've seen in some builds people run Toon, Cy um, Toon Cyber Dragon because it shares the same effect, but because it has Toon in its name, it's searchable with that Toon tablet card or book of Toons or whatever. It's, it, that, that searches it out. The reason why you run Cyber Dragon is because should your opponent have um, links, you can steal that to go into Mega Fleet. I am kind of thinking maybe to go into like... Uh, um, Camaritet, but yeah, um, should your opponent have have a link monster and use something like Cyber Dragon, you steal it to go into Mega Fleet, and because it's a level 10, just makes life a little bit easier. Three copies of Flying Pegasus Railroad Stampede. This is a mouthful. Uh, this is actually a very good card, guys. When it's normal or special summoned, you can target an Earth Monster in your graveyard and special summon it. You can't, it can't special summon itself, though, so please bear that in mind. Um, and also, it shares a really great effect where you can target one other face up monster you control. Um, and then you choose either Pegasus's level or that other monster's level. So, say for this instance, Night Express Knight. If you some if Night Express Knight's on the field, you then have the option to either make um, I've um, I've um, Pegasus a level ten, or you have the option to make whatever monster you targeted. So we'll choose Night Express Knight for this instance, a level four monster. This makes it really easy to go into our rank 10s. We aren't running any any rank 4s. By all means, you can take out some of the link cards and just put some rank 4s, uh, sort of put some rank 4s if that's what you want to do. Going on, running some Kaijus, guys. Two copies of the C Kaiju Gamma Seal simply because it's the weakest Kaiju. If your opponent has Infinity, Chaos Max, um, like Dark Magicians, they've got Cosmos. I'm running out of examples here, but... Like Saber Tooth within that combo destroy, you know what I mean? Just petty cards that are really annoying to get over or stuff like that. Just kaiju it. Some um and then majority of times out of ten, they're gonna be weaker, means you're able to go for an OTK very much easier. Then three copies of heavy um is it freight train um Derricane? One of the best monsters in this entire deck, in my opinion. If you not if you have an earth monster on the field, like if you normal or special summon an earth monster, you could special summon um, Derecrane from your hand. It's attack and defense is split in half, but who gives a crap? 
then you then like for all of our um, earth monsters apart from Ruffle um, Railcane um, Railcar, all of them like are basically level 10 or have the option to go into level 10. It just makes life easier to go into rank 10 Xyz plays. And if this bad boy is detached for an Xyz material for an Xyz monster's effect, so you just use your Xyz monster's effect and discard Derecrane, you can destroy one card your opponent controls, which is absolutely great, especially if you combine it with Gondori Day, because you destroy another card, or if you use um like Super Dora to protect your card, you can just pop opponent's card while protecting your own. Absolutely mind-boggling. And then we're using three copies of the Star Destroying Kaiju Ble Jizukiru. Oh god, that's a mouthful. The reason why I want this, guys, guys, again, Gamma Seal, you can special summon it. Then it, Kaijus have effects with, if your opponent controls a Kaiju, you can special summon a Kaiju to your side of the field. Because it's level 10, it makes life a lot easier, because again, you can go into rank 10 players. Also, it's sporting 3,300 attack points. So, if you just want to use it as a beat stick, by all means, use it as a beat stick. Then we are running two copies of Nibiru the Primal Being. And the reason I'm running Nibiru, again, this is go second deck. If you have Nibiru in your hand and you go up against a combo deck, you can use Nibiru to like just basically shut down your opponent's combos, tribute all their monsters, and then summon Nibiru. So what it basically does, if your opponent summons five or more monsters during their turn, you tribute all monsters they have, summon Nibiru to your side, then you summon a Nibiru token to your opponent's side of the field that has the combined attack and defense of all the monsters you tributed. It just clears their board. The reason we're running two is because we're running three copies of Pot of Desires. By all means, you can take out the Pot of um, Avarice and adding a third Nibiru to make life a little bit easier. Do whatever you want, but I just like Nibiru. It's a really great card. Then two copies of Night Express Night. Now you might be thinking, whoa, 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 two? Why can we not running three? The reason why, yes, it's a great card to go into, but if this is the only monster in your hand and you have no nothing else you can run of summon, a monster of zero attack isn't absolutely great. So that's why I'm running two. By all means, again, if you want to change some cards around and put a third copy of this, by all means, go for it, guys. Um, so this card is a great normal summon because you can because you can summon it without a tribute. And if you do, it's a tap comes zero. Don't particularly care because, again, it's a nerf attribute. You can either go into heavy um, heavy f um, fright train um, Derricane or you can go into, like, super express bullet train could do a lot of things with Night, with Night Express Night. And then one copy of Ruffin Railcar. The reason we're only running the one copy of this is because it's not really all that great. It's just there for a searcher. So again, it's got to be a normal summon. You can inflict 500 points of damage to your opponent. You can't touch your battle phase. But if this is the only monster in your hand and you're going first, great deal out of 500 points of damage at least. If this card is sent to the graveyard um, during the end phase, you can add a level 10 Basically, Earth basically can just add a level 10 train to your hand. Really great. Um, it's the only reason you kind of run it, and you kind of also run it because of urgent schedule. Then three copies of Super Express Bullet Train. So this is another card you can special summon. It does have an effect where it can't attack unless you send two other cards you control. But it is that you're not really going to use this card for attacking all that much. But when you do, just make sure if you've got other cards, attack with them, then just send them for the grave so this card can can go for the attack. So if you control a Earth, to, so if all monsters you control are Earth, it has to be all monsters. If you even control one monster that isn't an Earth, you can't special summon this card from your hand. Now during the end phase, if this card is in the graveyard because it was sent there this turn, you can target a machine monster in your grave and add it to your hand. Really great if you want to recycle your um, graveyard and get in some more cards so you can go to another play. Going on to some um, spell, um, spell cards, guys, we are running two copies of Lightning Storm. Again, this deck is all about going second. So, if Lightning Storm's in your hand, if you can, um, if you have no face-up cards, or even if you have a set card, go for it. You can destroy all uh, attack mode monsters on the field. Realistically, you don't really want to nuke your opponent's monsters, because obviously, um, Libby wants to attack into them. But if you need to... You can do, but your main thing you want to do is destroy all spell and trap opponent controls. Obviously, back row is a thing. Nuke them down, and you can then you could do your plays without being interrupted. Three copies of um, Liminar Removal. All of that, all your monsters you're going to use from near enough are machines. Apart from like the Kaiju, me even the Star Destroying Kaiju is a machine, so that monster attack will be doubled. I believe the only card that can't be doubled would be. Um, Gamma Seal, but even on the extra deck, majority of them are near enough machines. It's absolute great. The only downside is about Liminar Removal. Um, 
during the end phase, all your monsters that got their attack points changed, destroyed. Please that bear that in mind. But and also the reason we're running free is because again we're running Power of Desires. Um, so in case they get banished, at least you've got a, a one or two more maybe in your deck somewhere. Um, again, if you can get out of Juggernaut Libe, it's got 12, 1, 000, no, 12, attack points, and you could even, and if you've got more limited removals, it could go up to like 30, 36 thousand attack. It's insane. Monster Reborn combo extender, guys. I just like Monster Reborn because again, if you've got a way to get out, like we've got cards such as the Nightmares in order to discard cards and stuff like that, you are able, or if you linked away, you are able to get back your level ten monsters to then go into an Xyz play. Part of um, Avarice, guys, the reason I'm running part of Avarice is because it is actually easy to get five monsters in the graveyard in this deck. So you could just return it back to the deck, draw two cards. I am actually thinking of taking this out because of part of Desires, because realistically you've got Desires, it's what you're going to be drawing the majority of the time. You could easily take this out and add in like another Gamma Seal or another Nibiru if you want. Um, but yeah, by all means, go for it. Then three copies of Desires, again... Draw two cards. You have to banish ten cards from the top of your deck and draw two cards. That's why majority of the cards that aren't limited, we are running like two and three offs. So then in case they are banished, at least you've still got copies. Then three copies of Revolving Switchyard. This is the field spell for our um, deck, guys. So if a level 10 Earth Machine monster is normal special summoned, you can special summon a level 4 Earth Machine with 1800 or more attack points from your, uh, from your deck. So you can go into Pegasus and you can go into Railcar. Then that monster will become level 10. The only downside is about doing this effect, if you norm if if you go through this means, your opponent takes no um, battle damage for the remainder of the turn. So please bear that in mind. Um, it also has another effect where you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, and then you can add a level 10 Earth Machine from your deck to your hands. So say for instance, if you've got... So you're going third, so you, you're going second. You didn't need that Nibiru that your opponents made. You've got everything you need for an OTK. Just a scarred Nibiru, you don't need it. Um, if you, like for instance, have Night Express Night, you just need something else. Great. Add the Deck Crane. Or you've got a Deck Crane in your hand. Add the Night Express Night. Add, um, or you've got a lot of other cards. Just add the Super Express if you want to. Because you've already got the De um, the Dera Crane. That's the whole reason of revolving switchyard, and then terraforming because it is search because this searches out um, the shipyard. Um, it's the main reason you're doing it, just so you can get get hold of it, so you can add the cards to your hand. The one of the best cards in this entire deck, guys, urgent schedule. So if your opponent controls more monsters than you do, special summon a level four um, or lower, and a level five or an and higher earth machine. So you summon. Pegasus or Railcart with one of your level 10 monsters. The effects are negated, so you can't use Pegasus' effect to make it level 10, unfortunately. But it just gets a level 10 machine straight right out there. You can use them for Link Summoning if you want. Because you've got, like, because they're all going to be Earth Attribute, if you've got Dera Crane in your hand, special summon it. Because they're also going to be um, um, Earth Attribute, you can special summon your um, Super Express um, um, Bullet Train. It's just absolutely great, and it also has an. Um, it, it does have a downside where um, only machine type monsters can attack, but all of your Xyz are, are, are Xyz, so it doesn't. Sorry, are a machine, so it makes no difference. Also, if this set card you control is destroyed, you can add a level ten machine monster from your deck to your hand because this is a quick play, guys. You can even set it during your opponent's turn and just hope to God that they blow it up. And then we're running one copy of Red Reboot. It is limited to one, guys, unfortunately. So if it does get banished with desires. Tough love. The reason we're activating this is because, or running this is because it's a hand trap, so you can activate it during your hand. Should your opponent activate a trap card, negate the activation, and if you do, your opponent gets to set another trap, but they can't activate traps for the remainder of the turn. Red Reboot is just great because, say, if, you, if your opponent's shut down from using traps, you can just OTK them, who you you don't give a crap. And that's the only reason you're using Red Reboot. But if you pay, if, if you activate this card from your hand, you do pay off your life points, but if you're going for the OTK, you don't care. Going on to the extra deck, guys. One copy of Chimeratech, Mega Fleet Dragon. Like I said earlier, guys, it's one Cyber Dragon plus a monster in the extra monster card zone. So nine times out of ten, it's going to be a Link monster. Or if your opponent's using Pendulums, it'll be a Pendulum monster. Um, some people do play like the Odic Seas or Fusion Fusion in the extra monster card zone. So, eh, that could be a thing. But again, it's just there with your Cyber Dragon to steal whatever monster your opponent has to go into a level ten 
machine, basically, is the only reason you play it. Because then you just use Chimera Tech to go into um, X, um, XC's place. And speaking of XC's, we're running number 81, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Super Dora. This card is great if you can go first. So if you go first and you have everything to do, do a level 10 or 10 summon or rank 10 summon, don't just end your turn. Summon out Super Dora. The reason why? Um, it, has a, it has a quick effect. So you can play this during your opponent's turn. You can target one face-up monster on the field. It's a... It, um, um, and um, you, put, you can target one face-up monster you, you control. Use one overlay unit. Then that monster is unaffected by all other card effects except its owner to the end phase. Absolutely agree. And because Super Dora has 4,000 attack or defense points... Your opponent has to get over a 4k wall that's unaffected by card effects. Absolutely great. Uh, great. I love this. And also, if you're going second and you want to use Super Dora just to protect your monster in case you scare your opponent's back row, go for it by all means. It will give your Libe some form of protection. One copy of Sky Palace Gondori Day. The reason we're running Gondori Day, guys, is because it's so great if you combine it with Decker Crane. And also... Super Dora is actually great if you combine it with Decker Crane because, um, say, you quick effect, you can target your monsters unaffected. If you detach the Decker Crane, you can destroy one of your opponent's cards and your monster un um, is unaffected. Absolutely great. As for Gandori Day, if you pop, if you discard the Decker Crane, Decker Crane's effect will destroy a card. Gandori Day's effect, you can destroy one card on your, your opponent controls and inflict 1,000 points of damage. The only downside is Gandori Day can't attack the turn you activate its effect. But then you just overlay him into Libby, and then you don't give a crap. So, with just Gondori Day's effect, if you use the Decker Crane, you're popping two cards on your opponent's side of the field. Just clear just clear the board, why not? We are running one super, super Dimensional Robot Galaxy Destroyer. This is more of a gimmick, you don't have to run this card, I just run it because why not? Uh, three level 10s, you can actually do that very easy. You can destroy one, so you can detach one Xyz material to destroy all spell and traps your opponent controls. And your opponent cannot activate spell and, spell and traps in response to this card's activation. And this guy is sporting 5,000 attack points. So if you play your limited removal, you can just double it to 10,000 attack points. Then we're using one or two copies of Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Gu uh, um, Gustav Max. So you can detach one Xyz material, inflict 2,000 points of damage to your opponent. If your opponent doesn't have anything to stop you, you can just go into Rail Cannon and then go into um, Libby and then just go for an OTK just like that. Again, if you detach the detach your um, um, Derricane um, Crane, you can just destroy your opponent's monster when you and inflict 2,000 points of damage to them. And then finally, Super Dreadnought Rail Cannon Juggernaut Libby. This guy is a beast in himself. So um, you can only special summon him by ranking by using a rank ten. Um, machine monster. Obviously, all of these are rank ten, ex um, um, are rank ten machine monsters. Um, you can attach one Xyz material, and this guy will gain two thousand attack and defense points. Also, for the rest of the turn, only he can attack. So please bear that in mind. But it does have a lovely effect where during each battle phase, this card can attack can, can attack monsters up to the number of Xyz materials it has plus one. So this guy can just if you if your opponent's got monsters in attack mode and this is on, on, on the field, that's an OTK. If your opponent doesn't have a monster on the field and you just want to go for the OTK, you can still use Gustav Max, deal with the 2000, go into Lee B, use his effect to be 6,000 attack points. That's just enough for the OTK. So you can still do an OTK with using Lee B and just and just Gustav Max. We are running some links, guys. By all means, you don't have to run the links. I'm just running them because you aren't always going to get out your monsters. If you want to run some rank 4 plays, by all means run some rank 4s. So running one Barlow Dragon, you don't have to run this. By all means, I'm I'm also thinking of taking this card out because I've never summoned it. Um, I don't know what I was going to put. It may be like a rank 4 um, card I was thinking of. I don't know, like maybe Babuska if I was going first or um, like um, Tornado Dragon, something like that. You don't have to run Barlow load. Um, Another player can target this card with monster effects. Once per turn, you can target one face-up monster in the field. It loses 500 attack points. Your opponent cannot activate cards or response. Um, cannot activate cards or effects in response to this. Also, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can take control of it. So, um, you can take control of it. Summon it to a um, zone this card points to. But it is just. But it is sent to the graveyard during the next end phase. 
then the best link in this entire um, deck is a double-headed angular knuckle. So you need two machine monsters to summon this bad boy. Um, it has a couple effects. So during the main phase, you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard. That does include itself to target a level 10 machine monster in the grave and special summon it. So you can get back your level 10 that you use for a link play. Or you, say, for instance, you've got Monster Reborn and you've got a monster and you've already used a level 10 on the field. You could just play Angler's Effect to discard the card, some um, like to discard your level 10, special summon it, play Monster Reborn, bring back your level 10 you used to summon out this bad boy, go into a rank 10 XCs. Just just like that. Also has an effect where if this card is in the graveyard, you can send one card from your hand to special summon this card from the graveyard, which is kind of great. One copy of Nightmare Phoenix and one copy of Nightmare Unicorn. So Phoenix is there to blow up your opponent's back row. So if it's Link summoned, you discard one card, target one spell trait opponent controls, destroy it, just in case. And then Unicorn is there if it's Link summoned, discard one card, target one card your opponent has on the field, return it to the deck, just in case. These two are there just in case you need to. One copy of, um, is it Pen um, Pentastag? The reason we're running Penstag guys is because he's great with Libby if your opponent is playing defensive cards. So again, Libby if your opponent's got all these monsters in attack mode, you can go for the OTK. If they're all in defense mode, you can't really do it. However, if you've got Pentastag on the field, if your if um, if this card um, um, like points to a monster on your side of the field, it does um, that monster can inflict piercing damage. So you can give Libby piercing damage on top of attacking everything with 6,000 attack points. Running one copy of Platinum Gadget, um, once per turn you can special a level 4 or lower machine monster from your hand. This That's just, in case you've made, made this, you can summon that another of your level 4s. You're that, um, with just those, you are able to go into Unicorn, to obviously play un Unicorn's effect. Um, and it's just there to just help get another monster on the field, because again, if you special summon the Pegasus, it's effects going to trigger resurrecting a monster, then you could use all four of them. Oh no, actually you can't use all four of them because this card can't be used for Link Material. If it's, um, say, next turn you could go out and go into Barrel Load, but it's just there to help you go into, like, um, Nightmare Unicorn, really. Um, and one copy of um, Quill Fort Genius. This Link Summon card is unaffected by Spell, spell Trap effects and also, um, uh, um, and also Link, Link Monsters effects. You could target one face-up card on each player's field. Um, both of them have their effects negated, just in case. And when two or and when two monsters special at the same time, like you did to urgent uh, schedule, you can add a level five or higher machine monster from your deck and add it to your hand. So you just have the genius, you play the schedule, summon out two monsters next to this card's links, add add like the level add the level ten monster that, that you want. Uh, absolute loot. Absolutely great, great card. Again, there is a few cards if you want to take out. By all means, take them out. You don't need to run all, all the cards that I'm running. If you want to take out the barrel load or the gadget, go for it, guys. By all means. Uh, and that's it for the deck, guys. This deck, I say, is really fun, like OTK. And I think this is one of the funnest decks I've ever played. Because um, I just love trains. Um, again, it's not really great going first, but going second, it is a force to contend with. And with that, guys, we're... Um, we have got another deck coming up soon, which will be for hire. Um, so stay tuned for that, guys. And without, uh, without any further ado, I hope you enjoy, enjoy the replays. Stay healthy, stay safe, and take care. Goodbye. <laughs>